Good morning, everyone. Today, the 18th of May, marks the beginning of Mental Health Awareness Week. I know not just from speaking with your teachers at Hampton Court House, but also from speaking with many teachers and head teachers in other schools, and indeed in other countries, that there is, thank goodness, a widespread belief that every week needs to be Mental Health Awareness Week. The current pandemic has thrown up all kinds of challenges, and I know from listening to many of you, either directly, one-to-one, via Zoom, um, and to your parents and teachers, that we have all found the last two months tough going at times, and that for some, this period has exacerbated underlying anxieties and concerns over mental health. All I can say is thank you. Thank you. Thank you for speaking. Thank you for finding the courage to share. And for any of you who perhaps are listening to this right now and who are struggling inside, please, please reach out to a parent or a family member, to any teacher or to me. What you will find is a listening ear for none of us needs to suffer alone. Girls and boys, if you have the misfortune of breaking a finger, I don't think any of you would say, oh, it's, it's fine, it's nothing, I'll, I'll manage it myself. Yet if one of us is suffering from anxieties or depression, it makes just no sense to say it's fine, it's nothing, I'll manage it myself. In previous generations, we spoke of having a, a stiff upper lip, um, of never complaining, and, and phrases like mind over matter, um, um, don't fuss, or um, boys don't cry, were plentiful. Now, of course, there is a balance here. It is important that each of us develop some resilience to the whips and scorns of time. But for all of us, there is a point at which we must reach out. We must ask for help, and we must acknowledge that we can't manage or cope I am only here today because I have accepted help. So much help, both professional and from friends, family, and even from strangers, the kindness of strangers, sometimes the most powerful and affecting of all. The head of the Mental Health Foundation, Mark Rowland, says, we want to use Mental Health Awareness Week to celebrate the thousands of acts of kindness that are so important to our mental health. And we want to start a discussion on the kind of society we want to shape as we emerge from this pandemic. This is something we can all do today and every day to carry out or reflect on an act of kindness. It is a strange thing that when one gives, one receives. As that remarkable girl Anne Frank said, No one has ever become poor by giving. And so, please, be kind to your parents, kind to your teachers, and they in turn will be kind to you. But perhaps hard for some of us is to be kind to ourselves, to forgive ourselves. I can share with you that I struggle with that one, but I am trying each day to be kind to myself. If we cannot be kind to ourselves, we are no good to anyone, no good to society. We've all sat on aeroplanes where, before takeoff, we're told what to do if the oxygen supply fails and the masks come down. Always, we are told, fit your own oxygen mask first before helping someone else. And so please, this week, be kind to yourselves and then kind to each other kind to your family, to teachers, and be kind to strangers. Together, let us shape the school community and indeed the world that we want for ourselves and in the future for the children yet to come. Have a good day, everyone.